Hey Logic users, today I'm going to show you five different ways to save presets in Logic, starting from single plugins going all the way through project templates. If you want to speed up your workflow and help get a more consistent sound across all your projects, then this video is for you. So if that sounds good, please make sure you like and subscribe, and I'm going to get started. The first type of preset is a single plugin preset. You can get to this by pressing the I button, and that'll open this info panel here, and you can see the plugins that are on your track. For this example, I'm going to use the channel EQ. So once you get an EQ curve that you like, say this is the best sounding thing you've ever heard, if you click up here, you can either save it as a default, and if you do this, that's gonna be the first thing that opens up whenever you create a new channel EQ. So if we go here and make a new channel EQ, boom, then we have our same EQ curve right there. If you don't wanna do that, then you can do a save as, and then actually save this as an EQ you want. So we'll just call this example EQ and save it. And now you see it says example EQ right up there at the top. And then if we were to change this out, let's just go to drums, overhead mic EQ. And then to reload it, just click this top bar again, go to load, and then it'll drop you right in the folder and we're gonna pull up example EQ again. And there you have it, your original EQ. The second type of preset is called a channel strip preset. Say you love how this compressor and EQ sound and you wanna be able to pull that up really quickly. Go up to the top of the channel strip right here where you see this button and you're gonna click save channel strip setting as and then save it as something. I've already done this once, it's called example track and so we'll just save over it and it's gonna ask to replace. And now if we create a new audio track and we go up to this setting, we'll see example track here in the drop down menu you can select that and immediately pull back up those presets. The third type of preset is actually called a patch and it will let you save multiple tracks and drop them all in at the same time. Here's a really practical example for it. Say you're recording guitars and you have an SM57, a Royer 121, and a Guitar DI. Every time you record guitars, you're reaching for these. And then in your mixer, you've already got EQ and compression that you like for all of those. So instead of having to recreate this every time, you're gonna select them all and hit shift command D to create a track stack and you wanna select summing stack and click create. Once you do that, you get this header up here and a little drop down arrow that will show or hide all the tracks. So we're just gonna label this guitar stack. And now make sure that your main track stack is selected, not one of the tracks inside it. And you can go up here to the library and click save. And once you do that, it'll take you here and I already have one called Guitar Stack, so I'm just gonna overwrite that, but you would name it whatever you want. Click Save, Replace, great. And now, if you're doing a session with like multiple guitars, you can quickly drop more of those in, hit the plus button, add an audio track, and then go to User Patches, Guitar Stack. And now we have two of them. Super quick, super simple to save that. You can take this one step further by adding effects sends and effects into your track stack, and I'll show you how to set that up. Let's create two tracks here. We will have a vocal and we will have a vocal double. I spelled that right. And then, you know, they both have some EQ on it with our default curve. They both have compression on it. And then they're both gonna send to a reverb. So we've got the sends there. We've got our new reverb track that just popped up. We'll put whatever reverb on there, we'll put chroma. In order to set this up, you need to create tracks for all your auxes. So I'll call this vocal verb. And then if you right click on an aux track, you can hit create track and it will add it up here to your main window. So now you can rearrange it and it goes wherever you want. But if we highlight all these, hit shift command D, create a summing stack. Now all of our vocals are in this stack. So we'll call this vocal stack. You can also put plugins directly on the stack itself because it is a bus. So if you want some bus compression on your vocals, we'll do something like that. You can have that as well. So now all of this can be saved. If you open the library, go down to save and we'll call it vocal stack. So now all you need to do to recall all that at once is create a new track and go into user patches and hit vocal stack. Now you have everything all routed and ready to go. This is huge to save time, and especially if you make a vocal chain or something that you like and wanna use across multiple projects, you don't have to recreate it every time. You can spend a lot of time dialing in your perfect sound and then save it as a preset and drop it on as many projects as you want. The next type of preset is a bus preset that you could put on your stereo out. So again, 
set up your curve how you want. We'll be a little, little more delicate with this one. You know, it's just our master bus, something like that. And then some compression, whatever. And then a limiter. So now we've got our pseudo mastering bus here and we wanna save that as a preset. So same thing, make sure you hit the I so you can see the info panel. You can also get here from the mixer right up at the top where it says setting. So click that, go down to save channel strip setting as, and we'll call this um, sample bus. Drop it in there. And then you can go up there, go to user channel strip settings and see all of your mastering chains there. Once you do that, you can easily come back up here and recall it by going to user channel strip settings and pull back up your sample bus, ready to go. So that's another quick way, you know, if you always use the same mastering chain or just a handful of, of mastering or master buses across all your projects, you can save them all right there so it's good to go. The final preset is actually a template and this is gonna save your entire project as a starting point for later. So if you go up here to file, save as template, you can save this entire thing as a template and then close this. Sure, we'll save untitled six. And then when you go up here, you can go file new from template and your template should show up there. So here's example template. We can load it right from that. And now everything we had in our previous session just populated over, it's all ready to go. This is great for mixing or if you like a handful of instruments to start with when you're producing. It's another great tool to have to help your efficiency and your workflow. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or requests for other types of videos. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and please make sure you like and subscribe.